So we have this exponential equation, and you can see what is an exponential equation. It's where you have that variable in the exponent. What you can do with these problems is if you can get the basis to be the same, then all we have to do is set the exponents equal and solve. So when we look at 9 and we look at 1 27th, is there a number that we can write both of those bases in terms of? Well, 9 and 27, I, I notice they're both like 3 as, as a common base. So what I can do is I can say 9 is really like 3 squared. Okay, so I'm replacing 9 with 3 squared. Still raised to the x plus 1 power. 1 27th is really like 3 to the negative third power, because 3 cubed is 27. The negative exponent, you take the reciprocal, also still raised to the negative 2x plus 3 power. But what do you do when you have a power raised to a another power, an exponent raised to another exponent, you multiply those exponents. Here you have to be careful, you're gonna to have to distribute the two. So this is actually three to the two x plus two power. Here we distribute the negative three, this is three to the uh, six x minus nine power. Now you can see we have the same base, so we can set those exponents equal to each other. So we have 2x plus 2 equals 6x minus 9. Uh, if we subtract 2x from both sides, that's going to give us 4x minus 9 equals 2. And if we add 9 to both sides, we've got 11 equals 4x. And if we divide both sides by 4, uh, you can see that x is equal to 11 fourths. And you got it. Now sometimes you're probably saying, Mario, what if I can't get the bases to be the same? Well, then what you can do is you can solve an equation such as this, an exponential equation using logarithms. And I'll show you how to do that in that video right there. Uh, we'll take a look at that.